So guys, what's going on? So it's a video. Today we are back in seven days to die. And, well, in my free time, I went ahead and did a little bit of gathering on our own. I just got kind of the necessities. I, th I think I got iron fragments with, I don't know, this was a couple days ago, I think, yeah, I think I got iron fragments with a small stone, but I did actually end up putting it away into the chest, but, while I was out, I chopped down a couple of trees, not much, we got a couple maples, so I should probably put those away, and a lot, a lot of stones. Now, we're going to be preparing ourselves for the amazingness and or terribleness that is going to be this monstrosity. So that you guys are telling me to make moles out of these parts, I'm just going to keep them here. Uh, no worries. That reminds me, where do I put this stuff? Because we gotta, we gotta figure out what we're bringing. Also, while we are at it, uh, let's get some of the stuff crafting down. We're gonna need all the parts possible because we are going back into the midst of this shit, and it's gonna be awful. Uh, apparently, there's still a lot more crates and shack on the side. A lot of you guys were telling me that, so thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Probably would not have known that myself, but that was kind of my logical guess. But we'll be heading back there, seeing what it has to offer. Uh, this is, that's the food chest. Try, we're getting a little bit hungry. We will eat up our tuna. I don't think we really have any other food on us. Before we leave, we might want to cook some, like, venison. Actually, that, that wouldn't be too terrible of an idea. We have a bunch of golden rod, at least. Not much in the way of water. We might need to be on the lookout for food. Guess we'll eat a little bit of dog food. Ah, uh, that's nasty. Oh my god, my tummy be grumbling. Okay, well, we got our wood here. Uh, we want to make a lot of sticks. How much is a lot? Yeah, we're almost there. Almost there. 180 sticks, that's good. And then here we'll have like a full stack of wood planks to go with those empty cans. We'll put that in our trash bin where we'll kind of like figure it out later. Go with the flow. Uh, coffee. We probably want to get some coffee brewing before we leave. Along with that, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to cook up some venison. Possibly as food to eat back here, but no, no, for now we'll just cook up a little bit in the- Oh, we got the rest of our golden rod. Uh, we actually need to boil some water. So, I should have done that before. Actually, would have saved us a lot of time. Shit, not like that. I don't get why that stupid creative menu opens up. I- I don't know. I have it on just in case shit does hit the fan and I need, like, god mode somewhere. I don't actually use it. But, uh, I think, like, the- the stupid key for it changed, because before it used to be Z. Now it doesn't work, you can hear me like tapping the shit out of it, so I don't know. I guess that's kind of weird. I still have no clue what it is. I, I could probably go into the menu settings. Ah, oh, shit, I had more stones there! Uh, well, probably wasted some time collecting all those rocks. Alright, I uh, just want to get some jars here. And get some of this Wata cooking while we are gone. Hopefully not make this heat map too crazy. But, let's get whatever murky water we can, this nasty stuff. Ugh. I never drink this in my life. Ugh. Uh, Alright, uh, we just want to make some bottled water at this point. It's going to take five minutes. It's, you're going to need a little bit of wood into there. Let's just get that cooking to begin the process. Keep adding on fuel. I uh, will cook like half of it. I just want to get some coffee going. So we'll have that ready to go. And then in the meantime, while that's cooking, we will continue preparing ourselves down here. But I did want to thank you guys so much for answering my questions. As always, I highly appreciate it. I am recording this before the last video goes up. I think I asked, that's when I asked the question. So just heads up. I don't know what your responses are yet, but I will know eventually, hopefully. There we go. For some maple seeds, uh, we'll put the leather away, we're gonna bring the planks with us, we definitely want to have uh, medical supplies, same with antibiotics, those could be very useful, small stones, we'll craft uh, those into our necessities, that reminds me, we have our sticks, let's get to crafting the bolts, never mind, we gotta craft those, that's gonna take a minute and a half, <laughs> that's gonna be fun, no, but we are coming prepared, we are going to be ready to shoot some zombie face, and it's gonna be amazing, ah, uh, okay, so I gotta stop being so feisty. Let's put... Okay, I put the eggs away. Uh, Coffee beans. We're gonna cook up. Um, short iron pipes. Probably wanna put those away. But like I said, thank you guys so much for answering the question. As always, I actually have a couple questions. I wrote them down today. It's like I grew a brain and I'm like, Hey, I might be hard to do. It might be a good idea to write some of this down. And I did. So I'm actually really shocked that I did that. I will bring the torch with us in case it gets dark. Not bringing the 10 millimeter though. It doesn't serve us a purpose yet. It might though. Eventually. 
Uh, we have all of our bullets on us. Probably don't want that. Probably want to split that in half. Never want to bring everything. Just in case we die, we want some backups here. So we'll split the shotgun shell. So we're, we're taking all of that. And then here we just have our resources. And then we're going to have a bunch of slots for the goodies. Do we want to take first aid kits? I don't know. I really, I don't think we should. I just, I want to keep those here. But at the same time, they're freaking first aid kits. That's really good. We only have one band-aid, so I think that would be a good idea. We just won't take the band-aid then. Because, I mean, that's taking up an entire slot when, in reality, we have other things that could take priority over that. So we'll go with that. And then the torch, yeah, in case it gets dark, you know, might as well have that. And then we'll have our ammo there. And we're going to have a good amount of slots for looting. Now, that does bring me to, I guess, just kind of a little discussion point I wanted to talk about. It's not... It's not quite the question that you guys are dying for, dying to hear, but it's uh, kind of along the lines of it. All right, this should only take two minutes, then we will head out. We should. We seem relatively prepared in regards to other stuff. We have all of our stones. Let us craft as many bolts as possible. 171. It's going to take another couple minutes, and then we will be prepared to head out back to the city. Uh, someone was telling me, I saw in some of the earlier comments, apparently... There's actually a Shotgun Messiah by the original Shotgun Messiah. I, now, I did not see a Shotgun Messiah by it, but if you guys could point me in the right direction, uh, is that? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 that might possibly be the Shotgun Messiah you guys were talking about. I will, it seems to have this kind of a similar structure on top. I'll, I think we'll check that out. That'll be kind of our first point of interest there. And then we'll head over to Shaka Messiah. The uh, true Shaka Messiah that we know about. But, yeah, we will try to head... We'll just kind of follow that road and head over there. But, kind of the points of discussion I did want to discuss uh, today. We'll put the murky water away, too. Or we'll have it cooking while we're gone. I think that's fair. Make some good use of our resources. Hopefully not attract a million bazillion zombies towards here. Because uh, I think we're starting to play pretty risky with all the cooking we're doing. Uh, hopefully not too risky. That does remind me though. We want to be on the lookout for an airdrop. Because that should be happening sometime today. I, I My best guess... Oh shit, we need more fuel on that fire. Son of a bitch, no! no! Yeah, alright. Well, it's going to be like another minute there. We have all of our crossbow bolts here. Our little ammo section. Uh, yeah, I do want to be. I do like being somewhat organized with it. However, we might want to change that. I don't know. Murky water is going to throw back in the fire, so that's no biggie. Sharp stones and sticks. We're going to put those away, uh, since those were just for crafting the stuff. And now that the stuff's being crafted, we don't really have a use in having those in our inventory. Thought I heard zombies for a sec. I was getting scared. I'm like, uh oh, I've made a big mistake. No. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Eh, we don't have much room left in here, but actually, ah, uh, eh, eh, ooh, ah, uh, we had to make them into sharp stones, alright, uh, we'll turn these into sharp stones just for storage sake, have that happening, and then the sticks don't have a home, they'll find they'll make their own home there, uh, empty can, I think actually, I think I put the empty cans into one of these for, I had like three empty cans on me. Did I not? Oh, there they are. Let's stack that. Hey. There we go. Solving problems. One can at a time. That's almost done. And then our coffee should be almost done up here. Uh, you guys are actually telling me about the wellness and whatnot. Apparently keeping that higher... Uh, not wellness, but it's apparently keeping your two health bars. Your food and water bar up high does help with your wellness, along with the pills. So we're kind of in a really good situation here. Our stamina and health is going up a lot too which is very good uh the smg does indeed require a schematic we're gonna have to figure that out uh i have no clue where to start but we will figure it out no worries i have faith in us we are a fantastic survival group you know we always survive through these tough times and here we're gonna have our coffee uh minus one hydration but it does give us the caffeine buzz for like five whole minutes so we're gonna be running like a bunch of motherfuckers through that city, we're not going to be stopping for anything, which really, coffee is like your best friend in this game. It is so amazing. Uh, let's put these sharp stones away. Let's take those like 50 we made. Wellness is still going up. I love it. 
Uh, I think when the pills effect does wear off, I might want to. We have another 22 game hours actually. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna we're gonna keep that going. Then I like that. That's very good. All right, let's make sure all of our guns are reloaded. And let's begin venturing out into the wilderness. Actually, it's not really wilderness. It's more. It's, a, it's more on the urban side, not gonna lie. Uh, we have kind of our little improvised door there. Uh, we could we could build like an emergency chest here, that'd be kind of cool, but... Allow us to venture out towards the city. That's where we're going. Gotta follow that road. There is the cabin in the woods that I do want to check out. People are saying it seems very interesting and like there might be stuff in there. Uh, I definitely see what you're saying, but I want to continue kind of running through the city. That's what's that's what's got me excited right now. I'm just doing an ammo check here, make sure all of our guns are reloaded, that we're not caught into any blasphemous situations. Let's drink a little bit of this coffee, and oh boy, a nice rush of energy. That's an understatement. Look at this. What is it, five minutes? Three minutes of just regenerating stamina constantly. Literally, you just run for three minutes straight. This is going to be fantastic for something like a city run where standing still could potentially mean the death of you. Death of me? Don't really want that. But now that we are doing absolutely nothing productive and traveling literally in a straight line, I wanted to discuss some stuff. So, this is actually not on this little note card I had written down. Uh, I did actually think of this because it kind of jogged my memory here. This inventory thing there. You know what I think that's going to be for? I think it's going to be for when you have a backpack that expands your capacity and there's kind of a separate tab for the backpack and that brings me to this little discussion I wanted to plant the seeds of, I just have a little bit of discussion of, and that is about backpacks. Now then, I want to ask you guys your opinions on backpacks because I think the Fun Pimps have said in the past that they are going to be implementing backpacks. I'm almost certain that that's going to be... Uh, coming pretty soon. I think it was supposed to be. Don't quote me on any of this. I'm one of the most unreliable resources possible. If you're writing an essay, I'm the last person you want to quote. Uh, ex uh, actually, there's probably a couple people I've put ahead of, or put behind me, but it's it's an entirely different story. But like I was saying, I'm not reliable, so do not take this as 100% truth. But I think that they did say they did want to implement. Is that a fucking is that a B? I think that is. Can we can we shoot it? Can I hit that shot? Oh my god, we got it! Hey! That was an amazing shot. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we got a fat guy. Let's try not to be detected here. We do just want to kind of follow the river for a little bit. We're going to be heading down. Never mind, we're detected. Whatever, we'll just keep on running, keep on running drink a little bit of goldenrod too to get our stamina up and our hydration make sure that's high uh, we're probably going to be wanting to looting a couple of buildings that are kind of less conventional too because we are a bit low on the food that's going to be pretty important we got a freaking get out of here bumblebee what you doing uh, anyways this thing that I didn't want to talk about those backpacks what are your guys' opinions on backpacks do you guys think shit 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 that sounded really close oh my god I think I might need to lower my volume possibly a little bit stuff seems very loud let's hopefully not piss off these stupid bees they just just have their nests in the middle of the clusterfuck mountains that's an official name coining the term now uh, we're still being hunted I we gotta we gotta go into the city undetected if we go into a detected you're going to have a terrible time, but uh, in regards to backpacks, what do you guys think about that? What do you think is like how backpacks should be implemented, I guess is what I was trying to say, because I think that there are a couple, we're just going to head, head into this building, let's kind of relax here for a sec, gain our bearings, stay undetected, like I said, just kind of run in here, beautiful. And chill. Okay. We wanted to head it to that building. So we got a couple streets down. One main street down. This note to self. Purple pank pank <laughs> purple pank top. That's not even a thing. Purple tank top. That's awesome. Gloves. I think we already have gloves. And anything over here? Nah, just locked door. Nothing we're really interested in. But like I was saying in regards to that, what do you guys think about the backpacks and how it should be implemented? Because what I think it should be is backpacks are kind of like their own entity, if that makes sense. They're not 
they're not uh, it's very hard to explain the way I want to explain it there we go hit that uh, it's not where there I don't want expanded inventory space what I want is where it is literally it's separate tabs so you like click on inventory there and it takes you to an entirely new thing kind of like what there currently is but it would be it would just be an entirely new like whatever it'd be like depending on the type of backpack you have like a 5x5 five five open space if you have like maybe a simple backpack like a 10x5 if you have like a really good backpack like I don't know I think there's a lot of cool potential with uh, with this and is this the shotgun size this might be I think this is the second shotgun size store people were telling me about 